I'm not sure why anybody felt the need to remake a Hallmark film that's only a couple of years old and is pretty successful, but that's definitely what's happened with The Great Christmas Switch. I don't believe that GAC were unaware of the Hallmark film Candace Camion Beret, which is basically the identical plot. So I'm not sure why they kind of felt like they could remake it so soon, but it was actually pretty entertaining. So in a way, kind of glad they did. But I will say that I'm not going to compare it directly here to the Candace Cameron film, but I feel like it's kind of impossible to watch it and not do that constantly if you've previously seen that film. However, it's still a pretty interesting film, directed by Ernie Barbarash, written by Cara J. Russell, uh, released this year in 2021 and this stars Sarah Lind as our two protagonists uh, Sophia and Kaylin and they decide to swap places they are twin sisters one is a mother to two children one works in a job that seems to be pretty successful but it's not where she wants to be in life and they're both just fed up um with their lot and they decide to swap places now you may wonder why a mother would leave her children at christmas but actually they're supposed to be spending christmas with her father with their father so she's having a lonely christmas seems like the perfect opportunity to go to a different life really and swap places with her twin sister unfortunately not everything goes according to plan part of the film is wondering whether or not somebody will recognize that they are not who they are and you do have to suspend disbelief quite a bit that's also the case with the Candace Cameron Hallmark film it's you know it's the exact same concept would two children not realize that their mother is not their mother the only individual who seems to realize immediately is the dog the family dog and I think that's adorable quite cute what I did like about this one that I felt was a bit more refreshing is that it it felt one-sided in the sense that one of the characters, and I won't say which way, but one of the characters seemed to just be having moments of self-realization and you know, learning about who they are and what they really want in life. The other person was just turning their twin's life into an absolute disaster. So it wasn't just the stereotypical both twins learning that the grass isn't always greener on the other side, but also learning a lot about themselves. It felt like one character was going through more of a journey than the other and I kind of liked that because it makes it a little less cliche and a little less predictable it is quite festive Christmas trees decorations lights presents you know it, it's very festive I thoroughly enjoyed it had I not seen the Hallmark film I would not have compared it of course obviously um, and I would have probably thought yes this is fantastic truly brilliant really thoroughly enjoyed it but because the Candace Cameron film pre- precedes this one and I think was just a bit better and a bit more enjoyable, I kind of look at this film and go, well, you know, you- you're not perfect. You could have been better. But ultimately, I really like it. It's worth checking out. It isn't the best thing I've ever seen. I still don't know why they thought it was a good idea to create something that Hallmark basically did perfectly a couple of years ago with one of their star Hallmark actors but it worked so whatever decision they made I'm kind of pleased that they did obviously Sarah Lind playing the two protagonists I think she did a really great job um it it worked well I enjoyed it happy to recommend it